Ben the Rock Man. And is this turquoise? No. Okay, I've got this big uh, piece of chrysocolla. It looks like chris uh, turquoise, but it's not. Um, it's softer. Um, I'm going to get it up closer. We're going to kind of take it and we're going to work on our polishing machine here to use it. I've got a, a three inch drum sander and that. If you haven't seen my video on how to make this, um, please check out one of them. I, I will go ahead and leave a, a description for that video and how to make your own polishing machine. Okay. So, um, on this one, it was a little bit bigger, but um, it kind of broke apart. There are some fractures in it, so what I wanted to try to do with it is go ahead and uh, polish it down, see how it looks. I did use a little bit of super glue to uh, take some of those cracks and seal them and try to keep it all in one piece. And that. Uh, let's see if I have over here. Yeah, I do. Okay, I've got some of the pieces right here that um, came off of that. So uh, I still can uh, use this, try and make some jewelry out of it too. And that. So uh, I'll get this a close up and we will see how it looks and follow me as we go ahead and polish this. All right, this is Chrysocolla, and I'm just trying to get it here, showing what it looks like in the raw. And let's go ahead and we will sand it. I'll take some photos of it also. All right. There, hopefully you can see that good. Make sure I'm in focus. Yeah. Okay, let's get to uh, polishing. All right, we're going to go ahead and change this out. I've got it, I think, 600 grit. Pop that off. Makes it easy. We'll take this off. We're going to start out with 100 grit. Right on there. Good. Let me get that back. Oop, move this on the other side. That's it. Got that so it doesn't splash up in my face. Alright, we're ready to go. Get started. The water gone. see the color starting to come out. Work on it a little more on this 100 grit and then I'll check back with you 
when we get ready to uh, change it out to the uh, 220. grinding on the uh, 100 grit and let's see if we can change it out and get the uh, 220 on there. Looking nice. Okay so <clears throat> this is what it's looking like right now. So let me kind of, it's dry. And I've got uh, new 220 on here, brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and start polishing up a little bit more, working on it on a 220. So let's get going, come on. Let's change it out and we'll go to 400 now. Look at that, it's turning out really pretty. We still got a ways to go though. Just doing the 400 right now, make sure I got all the places smooth. I'll take a look at it when it's dry. Very pretty. 
All right, we finished the 400 grit. Now we're going to go ahead and start on 600. We'll go uh, 800, and then after that, go to like 12 or 1500. Let's keep on going. This is looking really pretty. A little bit of fool's gold right in there. Can you see that? Nice. Okay, let's get going. Finishing up on the 800 grit right here. It's looking pretty polished. Always turning it. Gonna make those smooth round curves. Let's dry off our rock. Wow, look at that. That is nice. Shining up pretty good. And we hadn't even used polish on it. So let's go ahead and jump to one last sanding and then we'll polish it. We'll pop this off. And this is a real fine nine micron. We should get a good, good polish with this. Got it on. See it slide on me a little bit. Now you got to be very careful because you can cut yourself. All right, so when we turn it on, we're going to have to make sure that it doesn't slide back off. Get there. Once it's expanded enough, it'll hold it. Just that startup is a little slow.
All right, we're getting that final polish on here. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so Dan Dan the Rockman in. We just finished polishing this. I have not used any uh, tin oxide and that it's looking really, really good. And that Let's take a look at it here. This is a piece of chrysocolla. It looks like turquoise. Beautiful. I'll take some other photos, still photos of it. And that. But using just a regular sander, uh, we we're able to polish this up and uh, get a really beautiful piece of specimen and like I said uh, I can see some fool's gold in there. All right. I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching the video and uh, like, subscribe and comment please below and we'll see what uh, we should do with this. You tell me. All right. See you guys later on the next one. Bye.